Welcome into week number one of high school football tonight. It's the Axtell Eagles coming all the way to Topeka, Kansas to play the Care Paravel Lions in one and eight man division one football. Good evening from Highland Park High School. I'm Sean Smith. Welcome into the broadcast as tonight the defending eight man division two champs are in town with the Axtell Eagles are in town. Axtell comes in, won 13-0 last year, won the Twin Valley League under head coach Eric Detweiler, who is 69-21. And, and Kerr Paravel is led by Doug Bondra, who has a record. Uh, 53 wins, 53 losses. Won the KCAA champs last year with 11 and 0 record as the coin toss is being occur. As we get ready to kick off week number one of high school football here on Varsity Sports. As we get set to go, captains are out there meeting at midfield. 285 schools across the state of Kansas is playing week number one of high school football. And tomorrow there's a couple games on tap with the defending 5A state champs, the Mays Eagles, comes to Topeka to play the Topeka High Trojans for a 1 o'clock kickoff at Homer Sports Park. Axtell, once again, is the defending eight-man Division II champs. Care Paravel is the defending KCAA league champs. Care Paravel leaves the KCAA league to eight-man Division I, and they really have a tough schedule. Next week they go to Donovan West, to Highland, and they host Marasine Valley. Then they go on two tough games on the 23rd to Linden and that Burnley game on the 30th. Then at home against another tough opponent, Madison, Chase County on the road, and finish off the year with Marathena Valley here at home at Holland Park High School. We're going to get set for the National Anthem. We're going to break for it. We'll be back after this here on Varsity Sports.
national anthem from Highland Park High School as we get set to go for week number one of high school football. Care Paravel will be dressed in their home blues with their mar maroon trim and the silver helmets. Axtell will be dressed in their all road blue, road whites, excuse me, with the blue trim and the white helmets. Care Paravel will kick off. Simon Everhart will kick off for Care Paravel. They'll line up at the 25 to kick off. Deep back for Axtell will be Eli Broxerman. It is eight-man football here on Varsity Sports Network. Brandon Schmelzy is back deep for Axtell as well. Set to kick off. Now they're going to move the ball from the 25 to the 30. A nice, decent crowd from both sides turned out for week number one of high school football. Everhart has it teed up. 12 minutes are up on the clock, and we're set to go for week number one. These two schools met two years ago. Axtell won 70 to 70 to 20, a touchback for Axtell. Axtell will line up at the 50 yard, at the 15 yard line. They break huddle with quarter with quarterback Isaac Detweiler. Single back. Detweiler calls the number of the quarterback draw, finds a hole. He'll pick up six on the carry. Six on the carry, bring up second down and four for Axel. Second down and four for the Eagles. Single back. Twin receivers to the far left and one to the single right side. Shotgun, snap slow, pitches out. Flag comes file, flying in, it's gonna be a hold. Axtell has the seam down the left side and that is Eli Broxerman, but there's gonna be a flag on the play. First flag of the game and it's gonna go against Axtell. It was a hold against the Eagles. Broxerman will get a gain of a couple. And bring up, replay, second down from the 10. Still got that pistol formation. Single back is Broxterman. Pitch out to Broxman to the left side. He fumbles the handoff. He is hit immediately by Simon Everhart from the linebacking position. He'll get maybe back to the line of scrimmage. And it's going to bring up third down. Third down. Third and long for Axtell. Just underway from Highland Park High School. Third down and 15 to go. Axtell will bring him back out, the single back. Passing formation for, and a sack, a screen play, and it's immediately hit in the backfield. The catch was made by Strathman, and it's going to be a loss in the play of five. That's going to bring up a fourth down for 
Fourth and long cracks on. They're going to punt on the opening possession. Axtell's in punt formation. Wobbly snap. The punt, it will sell. Out of bounds at the 35. Garrett Parabell will start with Jace Pavlik. The sophomore quarterback will lead Kara Parabell on the field. He threw for a couple touchdowns last year. The ball will be placed right at the 28 yard line. First and down and 10 for the Lions. The Lions will come out. Tight end, tight. Corner receivers to the right, single back, then motion one in the motion backfield. Here's Bondurant, they'll give it on the jet sweep and he'll lose a couple. Initial stop made by Grady Bussing for Axtell. Loss of two on the play, second down at 12 for Care Perryville. They'll spread him out. Two receivers each side. Havlick will throw, and it's caught by Gossard. He'll get eight on the reception. It's going to bring up third down and five for Care Perivel. Go back to that spread formation. Oblick will throw the first down marker and they get it. Breaks a shed tackle on the left side and it's caught by Jason Bondra. And he'll get 12. That's good for Kara Parvell. Kara Parvell picks up the first down. in Axel's territory, the market at the at the 10, they can still get a first. Bondra comes in motion, they give it on the dive, up through the hole. That's Josiah Bondra, he'll pick up one. Second down. Second down and nine for Kier Perville. They're looking to strike early on Axtell. We'll go back to the spread. Empty backfield. Pavlik will throw. Caught by the big boy, Jason Bondra. He'll get down. get nine. Third down at one. The last catch was made by Everhart. The Lions get the first down at the one yard line. Third down and goal for Kara Paravel. Back public will call his own number and he will get negative yardage and brings up fourth down for be fourth and two. Care Paravel keep the offense on the field as we don't see a lot of eight man kicks for field goals and brings up fourth down for. Care Parabell. Fourth and two from the two.
Flags come flying in. And it's going to be dead ball. It's going to be the referee is confused. Looks like a sideline warning. It's going to be a first down. Looked like a sideline warning, but they're going to give him the five yards in the first down. So, so it's half a distance to the goal. So Axtell. Their coaches were out on the middle midfield, and the referee warned them to get back, and they refused to get back. So Care Paravel will pick up first down. First and goal for Care Perville. Public will roll. Throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. Lions get on the board with Jason Bondra with the touchdown. Lions score. They strike first blood against. Axel. At the 455 mark of quarter number one. The two point conversion is upcoming for Care Paravel. There's the snap. For a back roll right. He finds the seam and he dies for the end zone. And he gets it for the two-point conversion. At the eight, at the 455 mark of quarter number one. It is eight-nothing. Care Paravel over Axel. Twisted Tees, a new Topeka first sublimation design company to come to the Topeka area. They offer custom shirts, masks, uniforms, polos, and much more. Did we catch your eye? Let Twisted Tees know you heard this ad, and you'll receive 25% off of your final sale. Contact them at 785-580-3987 or visit them on Facebook at Twisted Tees Shirts.
Quarterback Detweiler up the middle, walks right in the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown, Eagles. Eagles score at the 214 mark of number one. The Eagles will line up for two point conversion. They'll line up for the two. And they are going to be, uh, the two point is going to be good. And we're all knotted up at eight all back after this here on Varsity Sports. Eight all from Highland Park High School as Detweiler gets the Eagles on the board. With a one yard touchdown run for Axtell, who's the defending eight man Division II champions. Up next for Kerry Parable, they have to go to Highland, Kansas to play Donovan West. It'll be their first matchup, and then back home against Meredithine Valley. And week number three, Detweiler sets the kickoff for Axtell. Axtell run the line, a low line drive kick, and it's picked up in his touch. It's going to be picked up at the nine. By Bondra, he is going to get smacked at the 25. The Lions will start at the 25-yard line, first down and 10 for Kara Paravel. Will Evans will take the reins at quarterback for Kara Paravel. Single back, one in motion. Hand off. Three yard pickup and brings up second down and seven. Second down and seven. They'll go trips to the far side, one to the near. Will in the backfield. He'll set, he'll step up the pocket. He goes deep on a fade route, and it's going to be incomplete. Evan Will's pass falls incomplete. Ten to receiver is Ty Goddard Gossard. Brings up third down four. Care Paravel. Clock it. The referee is going to signal. Third down at seven, high snap. Will gets it. He's going to be quarterback sack in the backfield by Lund Landon Schmitz. 
They'll lose five on the plane. It's going to bring up fourth down four. Care Paravel, and they'll choose to probably punt. Care Paravel is in punt formation. No rush by Axtell. Punts away. It's going to be caught at the 25. Slips one tackle. He's going to be right at the midfield strike. It's going to be first down. Smells the with the return for Axel. He'll get about a couple on the return. It's going to bring up first down from the 39 with six seconds left to go and a quarter number one. Quarter number one is going to come to a winding halt here. Six seconds. Detweiler steps back and throws the fade. It goes in and out of the hands. One second left to go in quarter number one. Detweiler returning quarterback for Axtell, who's the eight-man division two champs. <coughs> Come in the twin formation, single back. Detweiler will keep it on the quarterback. Keeper, he'll get 11 on the on the run. And at the end of one, we're all tied up at eight. Are you looking for something sweet? For you or your holiday party, give Donna DNS Lights a call. She specializes in homemade, no bake cheesecakes, homemade cobbler, cookies, pumpkin bread, and banana nut bread. She does it all. Call 785 430 8440 to place your order. The Topeka Wizards professional basketball team will hit the court in March of 2023. If you're interested in playing for the Topeka Wizards or sponsoring the Topeka Wizards, email them at topekawizards at gmail.com or call them at 785-580-3987. The Topeka Wizards, the new professional basketball team coming to Topeka. Highland Park High School. Axtell will start quarter number two with the ball at the 29-yard line after the first down run by Detweiler in the first. Double tight end set. Twin receivers to the left. Detweiler gets pocket pressure. Flag comes down. Nice quarterback. Spire wide open is bussing. And there's going to be a flag on the, pl on the play. Penalty is on the play. Bussing looked like he rolled into end zone, and the referee is going to give him a good touchdown if the play stands. Legal contact to the face. Touchdown is good at the 11.50 mark. 11.50 mark. Twenty-nine yard pass and catch, and they'll set up for the two-point conversion. Ashley 
They'll have it at the three yard line. Duttweiler falls in for the touchdown. That is his second of the night. A three yard run for Axtell. Actually, it was a two point conversion for good. It's 16 to 8 is our score. Axtell leads 16 to 8 over Care Paravel. There's the low line drive kick. It's going to be picked, filled it at the 10. He'll break off to the left. That's Care Paravel. We'll start at the 21. Bondura with the return. Lines will start at the own 22 yard line. First down and 10. First down and 10 for Kara Paravel. Set for Care Parabell's drive. Here's the jet sweep pitch. It's going to go to Bondura. And he'll pick up a couple. Second down and nine for Care Parabell. Care Paravel. Second and nine. Ten fifty two left to go in the first half. Will will do a little dump fade pass to Bondura. He'll roll over and get a couple. on third down and a long 6-4 Care Paravel. Will on the quarterback draw. Gets maybe half a yard. Flags on the play. Personal foul, face mask against the Eagles. It's going to move the chains for Care Parville. Automatic first down for Care Parville inside Axel's territory at the 38. Back to back, huge penalties for. Axtell. From the 38 yard line is Kerr Paravel. Will out shotgun formation. We'll pass it over to Everhart. 
He steps out of bounds. He'll get eight on the reception. Smells Lee on the tackle for Axel, second down at two. Second and two for Care Paravel. Second and two for the Lions. They'll come out. The trip set, single receiver to the near sideline. Will be in flush. He'll step, and he is going to take another quarterback sack. And that sack is coming by Sawyer Detters, the 265-pound defensive lineman. Will is going to lose five on the quarterback sack. That's going to bring up third down and seven for Car Paravel. The offensive line for Car Paravel collapsed. This is a young offensive line, only a couple returners and Tag Adams, who's a senior this year. And Jade Bochers, who's also a senior for the Lions. Bunch of trips, will roll to his right, being flushed, he'll throw it away. And the pass is gonna go incomplete, and it's gonna bring a fourth down for Lions and there was going to be a penalty on the play. It's going to get roughing the passer. It's going to be another 15 yards against Axtell. So first down for the Lions. Pavlik is back in at quarterback for the Lions. Will will leave. 9-12 left to go in the first half. Trips to the right, one to the left. Pavlik rolls to the left, has an open target. It's going to be close to the sticks, and that is bon Bondura. And it's going to be a first down for the Latin Lions. That's their fifth of the first half. They're going to put a few seconds back up on the clock for Care Paravel. First down and 10 from the 10. First and goal. Trips to the left. Pavlik will throw it up for a jump ball. That's going to be caught for a 10 yard touchdown pass. Touchdown by Kara Paravel, and they're two points away from Tylant. And there's another penalty on the play. Everhart will catch the touchdown pass for. Care Paravel and the referee is going back over to the Axel sideline. And they've already had a sideline warning. And they've already had a personal foul warning on the sideline. This officiating crew is not going to have any of it tonight. 
At 8.55 left to go in the first half. Simon Everhart catches that 10-yard touchdown pass for the Lions. And the score is 14, 16 to 14. Pending the two-point conversion. As the athletic director is making his way to the field. So we're all kind of curious of what's going on. You don't call an athletic director unless there's fans or a coach getting tossed out of the game. You don't see it really in high school football co uh, coaches getting tossed, but it has been done before. We're back to action for the two-point convert. Pavlik will do a little dump fade pass. It's going to be in and out of the hands for the two-point conversion. No good. At the 855, Mark Everhart gets the Eagles, excuse me, the Lions, pull within two, 16 to 14. Sixteen fourteen is our score. Eight fifty five left to go in the first half. Everhart, who just caught the TD pass, is teeing the ball up at the thirty. Smellsy deep back for Axel. Smellsy is back deep for the Eagles, and the referees are still disgusting with the Axel sideline. Here's the boot. It's going to be returned from the two. Axel has a couple blockers, and he's going to get back to the 25, and a penalty flag comes flying from the far side, and we're going to have another penalty. More flags in the first half. Penalty on the play, a holding against Axtell. Axtell has cost it themselves five penalties for 52 yards. And that's not how you want to be the defending state champs, getting penalties right back, back to back to back to back. Get the penalties out of the way and get going. The Eagles will be back at the 15-yard line, first down to 10. They'll send one in motion. Quarterback, Detweiler, fakes, gets tripped up at the line of scrimmage. He is tripped up on the play by the Logan Pasta. Picks up three on the play, second down is seven. On this warm September night, starting high school football here on Varsity Sports. Second down is seven for the Eagles. Duttweiler, the senior quarterback, high snap, pitches it out. Two Broxerman sheds a couple tackles. It gets rolled up upon. He'll pick up five on the carry. Cameron Bryan makes a stop for Kerr Paravel. A 
third down on a long two for the Eagles. Detweiler led with 29 touchdowns, over 1,200 yards last year on the ground for the Eagles. Bobble snap. Detweiler sheds a tackle in the backfield, dumps it off, and it's going to be incomplete. The ball is going to hit the turf, and it's going to bring up fourth down for the Axel Eagles. Broxterman was the intended receiver for Axel. Detweiler threw for 1,900 yards last year with 34 touchdowns. A fourth and a long two for the Eagles. We'll see if they'll punt. They punt it to start out the game. Fourth and two, and there's going to be an official. There's going to be a timeout call, and we'll take it with Axel. Detweiler is the punter, and it looks like they're going to go for the fourth down play. Fourth and two, they send one in motion. Detweiler has plenty of pocket presence time, and he rolls out. He'll pick up seven on the run, and it's going to be a first down for Eagles. First down for the Axtell Eagles. At the 26 yard line. First down and 10. Detweiler. Flushed out. He's still on his feet. Sheds a couple of tackles. Care Paravel needs to wrap up, and Detweiler picks up 13 on the run. run. It's going to be a first down for the Eagles. Six broken tackles by Detweiler. Send one in motion. Detweiler looks to pass, and it's going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10 for Axel.
The Eagles break huddle. Detweiler, pocket collapse, and he gets the ball away, and it's going to be broken up. It's going to be a third down play coming up for Axto. Smellsley was the intended receiver. Third down and 10 for. Axel. Detweiler, the screen is set up. And it's going to be broken up. And the backfield, a loss of three on the screen to Smelzer. Roxerman with the loss of three. It's going to bring up fourth down and 12 for Axtell. Axtell will be in pump formation. There, the high end over end punt. It's going to take a care paravel bounce back. To the 35, down to the 37. That's where Kara Paravel will start the next possession. First down at 10. First down and 10 for the Lions. They'll send one in motion. Will will fire out. It's complete. Has a wide open receiver down the far sideline, and he's down to the races inside the Eagle territory. That's Bond Bondura. We'll pick up a 25 yard reception. First down and 10 for Care Parvel at the 19. Will step back, fired across the middle. It's going to be incomplete. It'll bring up second down and 10. Everhart was the intended receiver. Second and 10 for Carapo Rail. No, still in the huddle. Here's the pass. A long pass. It's going to go in and out, and it's going to fall incomplete. Third down and 10 for Care Parallel. Four fifty left to go in the first half of play. There's going to be whistles, and it's going to be a timeout charge to Care Paravel. We'll take it with Care Paravel.
16-14 is our score from Hollow Park High School, home of Care Paravel. Student bodies out for both squads. There's the play. Fourth down of five. Fourth down. Fourth and five for Care Paravel. Will will step on fire across the middle of the end zone. It's going to be an e Lions touchdown. Everhart will pick up the TD from 15 yards away, and we're waiting on the two point conversion for Care Paravel. Care Paravel will line up for the two with the single back. Since one in the jet sweep motion, they'll give it to the single back. And he is going to be short of the goal line at the 407 mark of the first half. Care Paravel's back on top, 20 to 14. Everhart will tee it up from the 30. Back deep. Smellsy. For Axel. Here's the boot, and it's going to sell over the back of the head, and it's going to be a touchback. Touchback for Axtell, and they're going to start it at the 15. First down and 10 from the 15 for the Eagles. Detweiler sends one in motion. Quarterback keeper snuffed out and picks up a couple on the quarterback draw. Detweiler has 10 carries for 49 yards. Second down and eight for Eagles. 
Second and eight for Axtell. Detweiler on the quarterback keeper. He'll get enough for the first down. He'll pick up 14 on the carry. The 32-yard line of Axtell, first down and 10 for the Eagles. A dump off play to Smelzy. He'll pick up 13. And they're going to move the sticks once again for another first down for for the Eagles. They have eight in the first half of play. Care Paravels up by four, 20 to, 20 to 16 over Axtell. Dutweiler steps back and throws wide open to, to Bussing, and it's going to be a touchdown, Eagles. Touchdown, Axel, a 25-yarder. Bussing will pick up his second of the night. Two thirty-eight left to go. Bussing with a 25-yard pass. We're setting up for the two. No call on the dump pass, and it's going to be broken up. The two point, no good. It is 22 to 14. Axel on top of Care Paravel. Axel strikes back on a 25-yard touchdown pass to Bussy. At the 238 mark, we're back and forth, 22 to 20. Axel on top of Kurt Paravel. Axel rolled off the bus at 630 to do their pregame stretches. are set to kick up. That Weiler kicks it. It's going to be picked up about the 19. A nice hole return. It's going to be brought back across the 30, down to the 33. Everhart with the return for Kara Paravel. Kara Paravel has to replace Carter Bryan, who went to the University of Northern, Northern Ohio. And Noah Hazard, who went to at Pitt State, the two studs for Care Paravel's championship KCAA team last year, moved on to Division One, respectively, and D2, respectively. First down and 10 for Care Paravel. Will will take off. He trucks one eagle. He'll pick up 12 on the carry. The Eagles are going to be moving the sticks. The 
That is the seventh first down of the first half. Two and a half left to go in the first half. The Eagles, excuse me, the Lions program has been around since 2001. They started at Washburn University, Josiah Bundra. We'll pick up five on the play. Second and four. Under two left to go in the first half. They started at Washburn University as an eight-man football team and has moved up into the Keisha rankings. Will will step back, fire down on the fade seam round. It's going to be incomplete. Brings up second down, brings up third down for Care Prairieville. A minute and a half left to go in the first half of play. The Care Prairieville cheerleaders are the 1A state champs as they competed last year in 1A for basketball, cheerleading, and the other sports. This is the first time this year moving up to eight-man division one for the Lions football program. Third down and manageable five for Care Perville on the gent sweep of Bondura. He sheds a couple tackles. He's gonna be close to the sticks and it's gonna bring up fourth down for Care Perville. Fourth down and one. We'll take a timeout with Care Perville. A bit fourth down at one for Care Paravel. As they come back to the line of scrimmage. And they're going to bring the sticks up. Uh, they're going to bring the sticks out to measure. Uh, they're going to be short by. Half a yard. It's going to bring up fourth and fourth and inches for Care Paravelle. Will's out of shotgun formation. Sends one in motion. Will will call it on the quarterback keeper. He'll fall forward. A gain of six on the play. A big fourth down play by. Will, and he will pick up the six and move the six for Care Paravelle. Yeah. 
First down catch by Bondura. He's going to be close to the sticks. Pick up a nine. Everhart. And nine. Just under a minute left to go in. They're going to give him 10 on that reception. Will will step back and throw. That's going to be completed. Out to Bondura. He'll pick up eight. Second and two. 36 seconds left to go until half. The handoff right up the middle to Bondura. And it's going to bring up a timeout for Kara Paravel. We'll take it with them. 15 seconds left to go in the first half. A third down and one for Kerry Paravel. The Lions are down by two against the defending eight-man division two champs, Axtell. They'll send one in motion on the jet sweep. Will roll out to his right. Fires it into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagle. Touchdown, Lions. Will completes his second touchdown of the night. Touchdown lines at the 30-second mark of the first half. Gossard with the touchdown four. The Eagles at two-yard pass. They'll set up for the two-point conversion. Here's the two-point conversion. The dump pass in the fade of the end zone. Falls incomplete. Care Paravo leads 26 to 20 over the Axel Eagles. Thirty seconds left to go until half. Care Paravel's up by four over the Axtell Eagles, twenty-six to twenty-two, here at Highland Park High School. A heck of a opening game for Care Paravel as they jump from the KC, KCAA League to the Kesha Division One Eight Man. Twenty-six. 
22 is our score. Here's the kick. High end over end kick. It's going to be fumbled back in the end zone by the Eagles, and the Eagles is going to have the possession at the 15-yard line on the touchback. Nineteen seconds left to go in the first half of play from Highland Park High School in Topeka. Detweiler will roll out, fired up across the middle, and it's caught in the middle by Smelzy, and it's going to be a first down. It's going to be first down for Axtell. 11 seconds till halftime. Timeout, Eagles. Six twenty two is our score. Care Paraville will receive the second half kickoff. Seven seconds left to go in the first half of play. Detweiler and the Eagles are in a twin formation. He'll th try to go long. Detweiler throws it, and it's going to be incomplete if the Jackson Bond would have held on to it. It would have been an interception, the first turnover of the game for both squads. Second down and 10 for the Eagles with four seconds left to go in the first half of play. There's the blitz off the outside and it's gonna be caught he is going to go backwards. He's going to find blockers in front. He's down the small line. And it's a fumble. It's going to be recovered by Bussing. He is still on his feet as they're playing ring around the toss with the football at the end of the first half. We'll go to halftime. 26-22, Care Paravel on top of Axel.
back here to halftime at Holland Park High School. 26-20 is our score from for Care Paravel and As you saw the first half stats, brought to you by Twisted Tees, Graphic Design, and Topeka. Good game over at Hummer Sports Park. Highland Park is trying to snap their 56 game losing streak. They are down at three and a half to Wyandotte Bulldogs, 25 to 22. Let's see about some other scores around the state. Why we're pulling up oldkpreps.com to see if they have any um, scores. Manhattan Derby, Manhattan's leading Derby 15 to seven. And the rank showdown at Hayden. Hayden's beating Nopi 14 nothing early in the third quarter. In the EKL League, Bishop Meage is on top of Blue Valley North 13-7. Blue Valley Southwest is on top of Blue Valley 21-14. Blue Valley Northwest is on top. It's tied up with St. James 14 all. Quietness is over Blue Valley West 21 nothing and a half. A good game up in St. Mary's. The St. Mary's Bears, who comes in ranked number one in Class 1A, is leading the Rossville Bulldogs 14 to seven. An eight an eight man Division Two showdown. Cat and Galva is on top of Little River 34-14. Rock Creek is down by one and a half to Southeast Saline, 14-13. A big game in the Big 7 League. Number two team in 3A, Holton, against the number two team in Nemaha Central, 14-13 at half, Holton. Eight-man Division Two with St. Paul's galloping over Blue Valley Randolph, 32-0 early in the second. Those are scores across the state of Kansas. As 285 schools kicks off for week number one of high school football. Next week, Paravel, Care Paravel will be on the road to Donovan West. Then back home against Meredithine Valley on week number three. Ready for week? Number one, ready for the kickoff. Eagles will kick off to the Lions. It's picked up at the goal line. He's going to run to the left, still on his feet, sheds a couple tacklers, and Care Paravera will start at the... About the 18, 19 yard line, he made nothing out of a chicken salad sandwich and the backfield. So, Care Paravel will line up. First down at 10 from the 17, start of the third quarter here on the Lions Sports Network. The Lions will send one in motion. Hand off to Bondura. He'll pick up a couple on the play. He'll bring up second down and Detweiler makes the stop for Axtell. Brings up second down and eight for the Axtell for the Care Paravel squad. Second down, 
Will said one in the motion and will run trips. Will will take. He'll step up in the pocket. And he will go down as quarterback sack. That's his third quarterback sack of the night. Big boy gets in the middle, and that is Sawyer Detters with the sack. Third down and 15, a loss of eight on the sack. Third and eight, third and 15. Will will roll out to his right. Look for the pass downfield, and it's caught. Nice jumping, leaping catch, Montura. It's in Eagle territory. First down, Kerr Perivel. There is a hold up. There is no flag. And they're going to take it back. Take it all the way back to the original line of scrimmage. Eudora is on top of Baldwin, 29 to nothing in the third quarter of play. Brings up fourth down for Care Paravel, and they're going to come into the punt formation. Smells he's back deep for the Eagles. He'll pick it up at midfield out the 40. He'll cut back to his left. He's still on his feet. He'll get about 10 on the return. He'll pick up 10 on the return. Ty Gossert with the stop for the Latin Lions. The Latin Lions are playing both ways. So is Axel. Axel brought about 14, 16 kids up. Care Parabell has the biggest number since 2001. 28 kids, I believe, is out for football this year. First down for Detweiler. Quarterback draw. He'll cut to the right. Runs over one Lion. He gets tripped up by the second. On the stop was Cameron Bryan. Detweiler has seventy-seven yards on the ground. We'll line it up from the seventeen. First down, ten for Axtell. Detweiler on the quarterback draw. Once again, he'll cut to the left. He's still on his feet. He'll walk into that end zone for an eagle touchdown at the 9.02 mark of quarter number three. Detweiler with his second touchdown of the night. 17-yard run. The two-point conversion is on. Coming up for Axtell. Here's the depth pass. The two point conversion is good. It makes the score 20, 30 to 26. Axel on top of Care Paravel.
Lant Lions of Care Perryville. Axtell's up 30 to 26. Detweiler will tee it up. Bondura back to receive. It's going to be picked up at the 20. By one of the up men, he'll get 10, 11 yards on that return. Everhart with the return for Care Paravel. The Lions will begin their drive at the 33 yard line for first down and 10 for. Care Paravel. Here's the pass, and it's going to be knocked. It's going to be batted down, and it's going to be incomplete. It's going to bring up second down for the Lions. Second down and 10. They send Bondura in motion. Will will call his own number on a quarterback draw. He'll get no gain on the play. Down and 10 4. Care Paravel will pass, will throw across, and it's caught at the mill, middle by Bondura. And it will get 11 on the reception. Eleven yards on that reception and brings up a first down. First, it's going to be first down for Care Paravel. They're going to move the sticks. Seven forty left to go in the third quarter of play. I'll send one in motion. They'll give it to Bunter in the backfield. Rumble, stumbles, bubbles. He'll pick up five on the play, and he is slow getting up on the field. Second down at five for Care Parrotville. Playing their first Keisha football game. Will steps back. Pass is incomplete, and the coaches wanted a flag on that play. A little bump. A little bump won't hurt nobody. It'll bring up third down for Kier Paravel. Third down and five for Kara Paravel. Here's a quick pass out, and they cut. A pickup of nine. Yeah. 
First down for Kara Pervell. Now move the change. That's just 11 first down. Ball's placed at the 22. From the 22. There's the quarterback draw. Bounces outside, still on his feet, sheds a couple tackles. Touchdown, Kerr Paravel! Touchdown! Lions, but there is a penalty flag on the field. A nice run by the quarterback, Will, on the outside, bounced it outside, got into the end zone. But yellow flags come flying out of the referee's pocket. As off. Four and a half is huddled up at the 15-yard line. They're still discussing. They're asking what they're going to do after the game. It's going to be a legal block in the back against Kerr Paravel, and that's going to void out the touchdown run and they're going to that's their first penalty of the game that's a 10 yard mark off <laughs> 30 26 our score from Highland Park High Highland Park High School in Topeka First down and 11, it was a spot foul. So Will will pick up five on that uh, quarterback draw. All that work for nothing. Let's see if the Lions can put a few points on the board before the end of the third. One in motion, Will catches high snap. Will pulls it down. He'll take off with his legs. He's still on his feet. Crosses that first down marker. And they're going to move the sticks. He'll pick up a gain of 13. And they're going to move the sticks one more time. First down for the Latin Lions. They're in Axel's territory at the 10. First and goal for the Lions. Nice crowd. On both sides, it was a nice little two-plus-hour drive for Axtell to come to Topeka tonight. These two teams met in 2020 season, and Axtell took the win 70-20. to Here's the handoff. It's going to be taken down to the backfield. That's Bondura. He'll lose one on the rush. Second and goal for the Latin Lions. As Neon Knight for the Lions. They converted the old uh, Highland Park 11 man field down to an eight man field. Here's the snap to Will. He'll roll, he has a man wide open. And the yellow flag comes flying in. It's going to be roughing the passer, and that's going to be up a first down for Care Paravel. 15 yard penalty. Penalties have racked up against the Eagles. They have six for 67 yards. Penalties has been the big downfall for the Axel Eagles. It's half a distance to that goal. Automatic first down. The ball spotted at the five-yard line. 30-26. Axel on top of Kier Paraville, but they're threatened here at the five-yard line of Axel. Pass. 
Will pulls it down, has a hole. He gets it away, a sliding touchdown reception by the Lions, and the Lions are up by a two. Everhart will pick up the touchdown at the 5.02 mark of five yard pass. Will escaped like he was running for his life. Everhart will pick up his second. Will threw his third touchdown pass. Here's the two point conversion. And falls incomplete. However, the score is Care Power rolls up 32 to 30 over Axel. Score update from Hummer Sports Park. Highland Park's up 28-25 over the Wyandotte Bulldogs in the third quarter of play. Highland Park is on a 56-game losing slide. So they're trying to put the stop to the skid. Detweiler's deep back for the Eagles. There's the kick. Squib kick, Detweiler picks it up. Hill has a scene down the left sideline. He still on his feet, crosses the 40. He is knocked down of bounds right about the 38-yard line. That's where Axel will take over. They'll start at the 40-yard line. First down at 10 for the first down at 10 for the Eagles. Detweiler on the quarterback draw. Sheds a couple tackles. And he'll fall forward for a couple. Detweiler has been dangerous with his legs for Axtell. Second down and nine for the Eagles. Detweiler out of shotgun formation. Takes a high snap. Quarterback draw up the middle, finds the lane. He'll dive forward. He'll pick up about 12 on the on the run. Some scores. Derby's on top of Manhattan, 23-15. Wichita Northwest in a shootout with Bishop Carroll, 39-23 Northwest. Nemaha Central takes the lead over Holton, 27-21. Detweiler out of shotgun, sends one in motion. Quarterback, quarterback, keeper, right up the middle. Gain of seven on the play. Has... 15 carries for 115 yards. Da dangerous quarterback for Axtell. 
who had uh, close to 2,000 2, yards last year for the Eagles. Brings up second down and four for Axtell. Quarterback keeper. Sheds a couple tackles. There he goes. He'll spin himself in the end zone for an Eagle touchdown. Sixteen yard touchdown for Detweiler. And Kerr Paravel has to find an answer for Detweiler as he's just doing damage on the ground with his legs. He's had a one yard plunge, 17 yard plunge, and a 16 yard run for Axtell. Here's the pass, jump ball up in the corner end zone, and it's gonna fall incomplete. Score is 36 to 30, Axel. Thirty-six, thirty-two is our score from Highland Park. Back and forth game for the Eagles and the Lions. Back and forth. Here's the kick. It it's out of bounds. They're going to start the ball. Looks like they may re-kick it from the 25. A final and eight man division one. Clifton for Clyde rolls over Hanover 52 to six. Here's the kick. Kick will s die down at the one. It's going to be picked up by Dura. He'll find a seam. He's still on his feet. Tripped by his shoelaces at the 25. First down and ten for the Lions. Will dances around, calls his own number on the quarterback keeper. He picks up about fifty. Teen on the quarterback draw. First down for 
Care Paravel. Under three minutes up to go in the third. High snap by Will. It's, it's going to be dropped in and out of the hands. Everhart drops that pass. He trying to turn before he caught the ball. Here's the snap, and it, Will's going to fall on it. They're going to lose a chunk of yards. Third down along for Care Paravel. Third and long for the Lions. Will fumbles the ball, and that's going to be the first turnover of the ball game on a fumble by Will. He'll lose. Two. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. It's going to be a timeout. Care Paravel. Thirty six thirty two after the timeout by Care Paravel. First down and ten for Axtell. Quarterback will pitch it on the option. Outside run, they're going to walk it in for a 25-yard touchdown run by Axtell. Smellsley, a 25-yard run. Put up Axtell, 42-32 over Care Paravel. That costly fumble by Will set up the one play, one touchdown run by Axtell. Here's the two-point reverse. And they throw it, and they get Care Paravel sleeping. It is 44-32. Our score, 12-point lead for Axtell.
Smelzy with a 25-yard touchdown run for Axtell to put them up 44-32 over Care Paravel. There's the kick. The ball is going to sell out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions will start the drive at the 15-yard line. First down and 10 for the Lions. A quick pass is caught. He'll be wrestled out of bounds, but the clock will run. Everhart picks up five on the reception. High snap will corrals it. Pass is going to fall incomplete. Third down and five four. Care Paravel. Here's the rollout by Will. He'll throw it, try to throw it deep, and it's going to fall incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down for Care Paravel. Just right around one minute left to go in the third. Axtell has increased our lead to 12, 44 to 32. Will will back to punt. Detweiler is on the return for Axtell. Beauty punt. Detweiler is on his feet. He crosses the midfield stripe. He gets. A dank game tackled about at the 33-yard line. On the pitch out, Axtell will step out. That is Broxterman. He'll be pushed out of bounds. Gain of six on the play. Second down and four, four. Axtell. He'll, Detweiler will pick up on the quarterback, draw six, and it's going to be a first down. It's going to be first down for, for Axtell. Clock. 
Hawks rolling in the 30, under 30 seconds left to go in the third. Seven seconds up to go in the third. Detweiler will dump it off on the quarterback. Dump off, and it's going to be caught. It's going to be first down and goal. First and goal. At the end of third quarter, Axel is up 44 to 32. First and goal for Detweiler will score, but there's going to be penalty flags on the play. Blocking them back against Axel. Moving back 10. First and goal from the 11. Weiler will do a dump off pass to their tight end, and the Eagles will score. Touchdown, Axel. A 15 yard touchdown pass. Axel. Is up 50 to 32 over Care Paravel. There's the two point pass, two point run. Penalty on the play. It is 52 to 32 over Care Paravel.
52 32 is our score from Topeka. A 20 point lead has built up for Axel. They are the defending eight man champs in an eight man showdown with seven and a half left to go in the game. Cat and Galvin 52, Little River 28. Returned by Kier Pervell. Still on his feet, balls loose, and it's gonna be another big turnover, costly turnover by Simon Everhart. Eight man division one final, Linden 20, who dropped from 11, and beat eight man division two, Lebo 20 to 14. Got some scores across Kansas, hopefully. Here is Detweiler on the quarterback keeper. He'll get three on the carry. Brings up second down four. Care Paravel. Second in six four. Axtell, quarterback. Keeper Detweiler still on his feet. He'll walk his way into the end zone after he stiffs arm a couple of Care Paravel players. Eagles get back on the board. That is their fourth consecutive touchdown of the game at the 1054 mark. Detweiler scores. And the two point conversions coming up. Right now, the score is 58 32. There's the pass. It is good. It'll make the score 60 to 32. So 60-32 uh, is our score. Axel is on top of Care Perryville. A final in Garden Plain. Garden Plain won six nothing over Conway Springs. The final in two A Ellsworth beat Beloit fourteen to six. The kick sells out of bounds. Blue Valley Northwest is on top of St. James Academy twenty to fourteen in the third. It's going to be a re-kick by sixty to thirty-two is our score. 
Care Paravel will take the ball. First down and 10. First down and 10 for the Lions. 10.50 left to go in the game. Kara Purville hasn't scored since the 5.02 mark of the third. It's all been Axtell. First down and 10 for the Lions. Passes away and it's caught by Everhart. Three-yard pickup, seven down and seven for Care Paravel. Offensive, offensively, they put up points against a good Axtell defense, but the defense for Care Paravel doesn't have an answer for Detweiler. Will's pass, he'll just throw it up for a mercy catch, and it's going to be caught, and it's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be a penalty against Axtell. Everhart with the catch. It's going to be pass interference. It's going to be first down for Care Paravel. Fifteen yard penalty, it's gonna be first down and ten from the thirty six. Here's the pitch out to Bondura. He gets up into the line, but falls forward for a couple. A gain of three. Second down and seven. Second down and seven. Will faces the heavy pressure. He'll get it away to Everhart. It's going to be knocked away at the end by Schmelzy for Axtell. Brings up third down for Care Paravel. Bad snap, and it's going to be covered by Bondura in the back. For, he'll lose eight on the bat snap. Fourth and very long for Care Paravel. Nine twelve left to go in the fourth. Care Paravel will choose to stay on the field for this fourth down. Care Paravel will be away from the friendly confines of Highland Park High School next. Friday night as they travel to Highland, Kansas to play the Donovan West Mustangs at 7 o'clock. Here's the snap. Pressure's on. It gets it away. Completed pass. It's going to be 
Hog tiled and a cramp comes up. And the Will's pass, it was caught by Will. Axtell will be at home next week. They, they'll play the Hartford, Hartford squad. Then they will travel to Clifton Clyde and play Lynn at home in week number four. A tough schedule for Axtell and a very tough, tough schedule for these Care Paravel, Care Paravel squad as they go, like I said, they go to Donovan West. Then they're at home against Marysine Valley. Then they are on the road for two weeks, and they'll go to a tough Linden squad who came from 11-man football to 8-man football this year. Then they'll travel to Burnley game on 9:30. Then they'll play a really good Madison Bulldog team on 10-7, and then they'll face another good opponent in Chase County on the road on the 14th before they're wrapping up the 2021 season with Marathena Academy from. Shawnee. So we'll have all four of the home games for Care Paravel. But that tough stretch after week number three doesn't get any easier for this young Care Paravel squad. Care Paravel will bend on the outcome, will drop to 0 1 to the defending state eight-man division two champs. Axel showing why they are the defending champs. Timeout will be charged to Care Paravel. Twisted Tees, a new Topeka first sublimation design company to come to the Topeka area. They offer custom shirts, masks, uniforms, polos, and much more. Did we catch your eye? Let Twisted Tees know you heard this ad, and you'll receive 25% off of your final sale. Contact them at 785-580-3987 or visit them on Facebook at Twisted Tees Shirts. Are you looking for something sweet for you or your holiday party? Give Donna DNS Delights a call. She specializes in homemade no-bake cheesecakes, homemade cobbler, cookies, pumpkin bread, and banana nut bread. She does it all. Call 785-430-8440 to place your order. Back to Highland Park High School. 60 32 is our score from Topeka. Detweiler will throw it deep. The pass is knocked away at the last second. Good defensive play by. Good defensive stop by Care Paravel. Second down and 10 for Detweiler on the quarterback keeper. He'll pick up 13 on the first down. He has 169 yards for unofficially for Axtell. the quarterback keeper flags come in 
Detweilers all the way down to the goal. We'll see what the penalty flag is going to be. Against Axtell. Detweiler will get a gain of seven on the. And bring up first down at 20. Said 20. Detweiler will throw and pass. It's complete to Bussing. He'll get 12. They'll bring up second down and eight. Second and eight for Axtell. Detweiler on the pitch to Smelzy. And he'll get close to the end zone. It'll be a first down for Axtell. First and goal for the Eagles. Down a goal. Detweiler will pitch it to Broxerman. He'll walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. A three yard run by Broxerman to put him up. 60. 66-32. Detweiler will walk it into the end zone for the two-point conversion. 68-32 to 32 is our score. Back with Axtell's kickoff. Sixty-eight, thirty-two. The Eagles are pouring it on, and the Keisha debut of Care Paravel. Saibon Dura with the return. It's going to bring up first down. 
It's going to be at the 26 yard line, first down and 10 for Care Paravel. the pass and it's going to go incomplete. Pavlik with the incomplete pass. Second down and 10-4 Care Paravel. Pass is intercepted. It's going to be. Broxerman with the pick six. It is 74 to 32, pending the two point conversion for Axel. Here, Paravelt hasn't scored since the third. Here, Detweiler will call his own number, walk it in the end zone for the two-point conversion. They're up by 44. Back with the Eagle kickoff. Eagles come back out, leading 76-32 over Care Paravel. Here's the kick. It'll roll in the back of the end zone. It's gonna be a touchback for Care Paravel. 15 yard line. Care Paravel 10. Care Paravel is a young football squad. A little bounce back as they go next to board. Here's the handoff up. Brings up third down four. Care Paravel. Care Paravel has struggled offensively. They scored oh, the whole entire first half and they came out just kind of didn't stick to the game plan with against Axel and kind of went downhill late in the third quarter and there's going to be a timeout on the field and we're going to take it with them back after this. Topeka Wizards at gmail.com or call them at 785 580 3987. The Topeka Wizards, the new professional basketball team coming to Topeka.
care to Holland Park High School. Care Paravel finds himself in a big hole, 76 to 32 against Axtell, who's the defending eight-man Division II champs. Third down play. Holland Ecker will roll. Nice pickup. He'll make a completed pass down. He'll get about 25 on the completed pass. Everhart with the reception. Care Paravel's on the move at the 523 mark of quarter number four. Complete it. They'll give him the five on the forward motion. Second down and five. Second down and five for Kara Paravel. The clock's going at four and a half. Third down for Care Paravel. Third down and five for Care Paravel. Quarterback scrambles, flag comes flying. Pavlovic pass falls incomplete. There's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a holding against Care Paravero. Kent and Galvin defeat Solo River 66 to 36. St. Mary's picks up win number one on this year with a 20 to 13 win over Rossville. Snaps Rossville 26 game winning streak. Congratulations to the Bears as they dropped to 1A this year. The Bears schedule gets very hectic when they play Riley County and Silver Lake. Then they go into district play with McLeod, Oskaloosa, Jeff County North, and Valley Falls. Here's the third down play. Pass is caught by the big tight end. He'll pick up the first down and more. Gossard with the Reception, it'll be a 14 yard reception. That'll be a first down for Care Paravel. From the 17. First and 10 from the 17. Quarterback sets, no pressure. I'll throw it in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Lions. Bondura. 
The, the Lions have scored in the second half of the 328 mark of the fourth. Bondura with the catch for the touchdown. 76 to 38. There's a snap for the two-point conversion. Two-point conversion is no good. The Lions do score in the, in the fourth. Seventy-six thirty-eight Eagles. Here's the kickoff from St. Mary, from Care Paravel. On site kick attempt. It's recovered by Axtell. First down at 10 for Axtell. Broxerman is shoved out of bounds. Smellsley with the carry. Second down and six for Axel. Detweiler on the quarterback keeper will go down. Clock will continue to roll. First down at ten four. Axel. Here's the handoff to Smellsley. He'll get one on the on the run. He'll bring up second down for second 
Second and long, nine for Axel. We are approaching just a little over the 10 o'clock hour, three hour and 10 minute football game. There's the pitch out to the running back. He dances down the sideline and gets shoved out of bounds. A gain of 20 on the. Be at the Care Paravel nine yard line. A minute and a half left to go in the game. Detweiler signal out oh, on a quarterback keeper. We'll pick up three. The clock will continue to roll. Under a minute 20 left to go in the fourth. We hope you guys enjoyed tonight's contest with Kerry Perivel and Axtell. The ball, it's just under 60 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter of play. Axtell will move to 1 0 on the year. Kara Paravel, who's a young football team, will drop to 0 1. We'll have to go back to the drawing board. Here's the pass, and it's caught for a touchdown for the Eagles. We've said that quite a bit tonight for the Eagles being in the scoreboard range. They put another six up on the board for a touchdown. Seven yard pass. Garrett Paravel just needs to go back to the drawing board. And the defense has to tr tackle because that's the, one of the downfalls they, they did not do was the tackling game. The two-point conversion is no good. The knee was down. So the score is 82 to 38. Back with the kickoff. Axel increases their big lead to 82 to 38. Axel welcomed Kerr Paravel into Keisha football tonight. So a lot of things that Kerr Paravel has to go back and fix on the drawing board. Get it right before they go to Donovan West next week when they play the Mustangs in Highland, in Highland, Kansas. So a lot of things for Care Paravel, and they'll host Merritt Seton Valley, then be on the road for a couple of weeks to Linden at Burnley game, and they'll be at home against Madison on the road at Chase County, and Marathena Academy comes to Topeka. Here's the kick. It'll go out of the back of the end zone. So after week number three with the Merritt Seton Valley game, the schedule gets tougher and tougher and tougher. Linden, Burlingame, Madison, Chase County are, are it's either they are ranked or currently being talked about being ranked in eight man division one. 
Linden, who was a who was a powerhouse for years in eight man and eleven man football, they dropped to for their enrollment to eight man. So they they're playing their first eight man ball this year. And then Burlington's always tough. Madison's always tough with also Chase County. Here's the run by Pavlovic. He'll get five on the run. Second down and five for, for Kara Perivelle. Under a half a minute left to play in the fourth quarter. From Highland Park, the pass falls incomplete. Third down and 10 for the Lions. 10 seconds left to go in the game. Axtell will be at home next week against Hartford, Hartford then on the road to Clifton Clyde and at home against Lynn. Then they'll be on the road to Blue Valley Randolph, then Hanover Frankfurt at home. Then they'll go complete their schedule with Donovan West before state football playoffs pairings begin on the 22nd of October. Pass out. It's complete to the tight end, Gossard. He'll pick up 15. And first down for Care Paravel. First down for the Lions. And that's the ball game, fans. The final score is 80, 82. Two thirty-eight. Axtell moves to to one and zero. Oh. Care Paravel falls to zero oh one. The Lions will have a very tough schedule in the next few weeks. They're on the road next week when they play Donovan West, and they're back home against Meredith Senior Valley. Then they go on the road for two weeks to Linden, the Berlin game, and then they're at home against. Madison on the road against Chase County and then at home against Marathena Academy. So head coach Doug Bondra will have some drawing, some duties on the drawing board to go back to, to kind of figure out the defensive scheme, defensive wise, what they can do, what they can't do, what they can do on the offense side. Offense had those splutters in the first, first half. They moved the ball well. They couldn't Produce it all in the second half. Final score from Highland Park, it's 82-38. Axtell rolls Care Paravel in their season debut in Keisha football. For everybody behind the scenes, I'm Sean Smith saying thanks for listening and have a good, pleasant evening from Highland Park. We'll rejoin you in a couple weeks when Meredith Valley comes to Topeka.